Hey guys, welcome to another episode of After Thoughts. With the air pollution clouding parts of Southeast Asia, it is aptly for us to talk about the haze. I see haze. Haze everywhere. Haze. Yup, the surgical mask can barely cover ourselves from the powdery air. The heat is so bad, schools are closed. The Football Association of Malaysia has postponed the Malaysia Cup. F1 fans in Singapore are concerned over the upcoming Grand Prix. Don't even mention about tourism. It's really bad. Basically, the biggest cause of haze is our own health. Sore throat, eye irritation, difficulty in breathing and constant coughing. According to satellite images, that the haze in Sumatra is so severe, nearly 1,000 hot spots of forest fires were detected. Worse is, these are man-made fires. Don't even get me started on the dying orangutan. It hurts me. Indonesia President Joko Widodo is facing his worst nightmare. The irony of the situation is, Indonesia has yet to declare the current forest fires as national disaster, even though we would probably have put this as regional disaster. Of course, it is not all Indonesia's fault. Some would point the finger to the unethical and unregulated palm oil industry cartel. One thing is for sure, the illegal slash and burn clearance by either large corporations or small-time farmers in Kalimantan and Sumatra, which is causing rampant deforestation, but persists because of widespread corruption among the local officials. One interesting initiative is the haze monitoring system. Developed by Singapore, it uses maps and high-resolution satellite images of the blazes to find out which plantation company is responsible for the fire. In fact, as we are speaking now, a couple of companies from Malaysia and Singapore are being investigated. Another positive development is that Indonesia has finally joined forces with the rest of ASEAN to ratify the ASEAN Agreement on Transboundary Haze Pollution. Countries have also started enacting laws such as Singapore passing the Transboundary Haze Pollution Act last year. Activists have also been organizing awareness campaigns. One of them is Singapore's WWF, We Breathe What We Buy. Did you know that currently 85% of the world's palm oil production is located mainly in Indonesia and Malaysia? What's crazy is that palm oil exists in almost every modern day products from pizza to chocolates to toothpaste to even lipsticks. How can we live without palm oil then? One glimmer of hope is for ASEAN to follow Europe's footstep by adopting a Certified Sustainable Palm Oil or CSPO by 2020. The keyword here is sustainable future. You can have all the laws in the world, but the biggest political will is actually us. We have the power to change. Hey, thanks for watching this show. For more information about products that contain palm oil, you can go to WWF website at this link. Please subscribe to our channel. Let's support for a haze-free ASEAN.